we're asked to write the equation of the linear function with slope negative three-eighths passing through the point four comma two. We'll find our equation in slope intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b, where m equals the slope of the line, and b equals the vertical intercept, which should be the ordered pair zero comma b. So notice in this case, we're told the slope equals negative three-eighths, so we know m equals negative three-eighths, and we're also told the line passes through the point four comma two. Now it's important to recognize here, four comma two is not the vertical intercept because the x coordinate is not zero. But because we know the slope is equal to negative three eighths, we know our equation will be in the form y equals negative three eighths x plus b. And now because we know our line passes through this point, this ordered pair must satisfy this equation, which means we can substitute four for x, two for y, and then once we do this, we can solve the equation for b, which will give us the vertical intercept. So performing substitution, we would have two equals negative three-eighths times x, which is equal to four, which I'll go ahead and write four as four over one, since the slope is a fraction, plus b. Now let's go ahead and find this product. Notice how we have a common factor of four. There's one four and four, and two fours and eight. So simplifying, we have two equals, this product is going to be negative three halves plus b. And now to isolate b on the right side or solve for b, we would add three halves to both sides, which would give us b equals two, or two over one, plus three halves. To find this sum, we'll have to obtain a common denominator, which would be two. So multiply two over one by two over two. So notice here we have b equals, this would be four halves plus three halves, which equals seven halves. And now that we know the value of b, we can write the equation for our linear function. We would have the equation y equals negative three-eighths x plus b, which would be plus seven halves. Now to verify this is the correct equation, what we could do is plot the point four comma two on the coordinate plane and then graph the line given by our equation to make sure the line does pass through the point four comma two. And I've already done this. Here's the point four comma two and this blue line is a graph of our equation and notice how the line does pass through the point four comma two. Verifying our equation is correct. I hope you found this helpful.